Hi everybody, Gothic Sugar here. So I was recording a video and then I realized I was probably going to end up talking for a minute. So I stopped that one to start it over again. Um, basically, I was talking about my fundraiser and how I've got stuff up on eBay. Now, if anyone's looking for a graphics tablet, I have a Bamboo Wacom or Wacom Bamboo CTH 470 available. And I believe the starting bid is $25. And the buy it now price is $45 and I think shipping is about $8 if you want to go check that out. Um, it comes with the CD which is not pictured on eBay because I didn't have it when I took those pictures. But here it is. And it also has, um, trying to cover up the serial numbers here, this for um, Adobe Photoshop Elements 8.0 so if anybody wants to get that then that's up there I've also got Jose Manga um, Shonen Ai Yoi Manga up there manga, and a Shoujo lot of manga so there there is stuff out there to check out as well as my Steven Universe fan art that I've been doing and posting on my Tumblr Sorry about all the noise. I just knocked something over. But yeah, um, I did a bunch of Steven Universe fan art. Well, not a bunch. I'm still working on some. The sketchbook is like literally right in front of this. So that's why you're saying it like that. This one is up for sale. As well as this one. You can see pictures on eBay. I do not have a scanner, which is why all of them are photographed. So sorry about that in advance. And as you can see, they're all signed. I will be cutting them out of the sketchbook instead of just, well, I might just rip them out, I'm not sure. But um, you'll, you'll be able to trim the sides yourself because I don't trust myself with that. I don't cut straight lines. If anyone follows me on Twitter, you probably saw these already. Or if you follow me on Tumblr, you probably saw these already. And then Steven. Which, honestly, I really like the background on this one. But they're all for sale on eBay. Starting prices range from $20 or $25 up to $30, I think, for garnet and rose quartz. So if you want to buy those, feel free to stop on by eBay. Um, I was selling them directly through my Tumblr for $20 shipped, but I'd rather sell everything quickly and probably should have just talked about it on YouTube first, but I didn't think to do that, so sorry. Um, but the auctions end in seven days, so if I don't get any bids on them and somebody wants to buy them, then you can just contact me directly by emailing me at gothicsugarart at hellokitty.com. But, um... I was going to talk about my Indiegogo fundraiser, and it's still on until November, probably, maybe November 15th, I don't know yet, but I do want to end it in November because regardless of whether I'm funded or not, I still want to try to start my own business, simply because, like I said before, I've been unemployed for the last six years due to health issues, and... I applied for and got hired for a job out of the many jobs that I had applied for since October of 2010 um, but I could not work it because the week that I was supposed to start I ended up having a relapse and I could not attend so I let them know that I couldn't make it I did not com feel comfortable going into details but I could not get an alternate start date when I asked I was told that I would have to reapply and start the entire process all over again which is frustrating. And it was a desk job too, so yeah, kind of sucks. I also applied for SSI twice, and twice I have been denied. Um, I'm right now on my second time, and I think I'm going to go ahead and appeal it, but I do not have great hopes for that, because in spite of giving them my complete work history the last 10 years, I was told that I could adjust to some kind of work. They just don't know what kind because 
as they said, they don't have enough information, which is really frustrating, but what can you do? So, like I said, I don't have a lot of hope for that. Um, so, I've been looking for jobs that I could do that would not cause me too much duress or anything, and I've pretty much only come up with working for myself at this point, um, just drawing and making my own clothes. So that's what the Indiegogo is for. And commissions, I'm also accepting those. If anyone wants to commission me, you can go to my website, gothicsugar.tumblr.com slash commissions. But all links will be in the description box below. Below, below so don't worry about that. If you, you know, want to commission me, just click the links. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not trying to guilt trip anybody. I'm just letting you guys know that I have this available because... If I don't advertise, then no one will know, and I'll continue, and I can't talk today. I'll continue to sit here being like, no one's buying my stuff, why? But, you know, common sense, you gotta advertise. So, yeah. Um, letting you guys know about that. And, what is wrong with me? Um, basically, I wrote about it on my Indiegogo, but if anybody wants to know, I have... Um, PCOS, which we found out about in 2012 when I went to the hospital. Um, I had been told that it was a possibility the year before when I scrounged up some money to go see a hematologist because I didn't know what was going on. Um, and I'm not going to go into too many details because, you know, this is a mixed channel, so I've got guys watching and women watching, and not everybody wants to hear all of that. So, um... For me, it was causing some very, very bad symptoms that I had been dealing with since I was at least 15 years old. And long story short, I've been left with heart problems as a result of um, basically hemorrhaging and chronic anemia, which is often very severe. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me. And it's one of the main reasons why I haven't been posting on YouTube regularly because I just haven't often felt up to it. And it's kind of frustrating because I really enjoy doing my YouTube videos. Like, I've got almost 100 videos uploaded, but I put a lot of them on private because I want to, you know, change up the channel a little bit. Because before, I started with the video every single day while I was in school, which was... It had its ups and downs, um, and then after that I just started uploading random stuff, which I don't mind, but, you know, it's an art channel, so I'm trying to keep it towards art and maybe a little bit of life stuff, but right now I don't have a lot going on, so that's what's been going on, and yet, in spite of not having a lot going on, I have managed to make this video eight minutes long, so if you sat through this video, thank you very much. Uh, if you want to commission me, Click on the link in the description box below. If you would like to buy any of my pictures, please click on the eBay link. And if you want to donate to my Indiegogo so that I may start a business for myself, that would be great. Please click on the link below for Indiegogo. And yeah, I guess that's it because I've been talking for a long freaking time. Though I will say before I go. This image is another one that I was working on. It's a Himigaru, I hope I pronounced that right, um, image. Uh, honestly, when I was doing it, it kind of reminded me of the lovely Ify, and I'm like, that's not who it's supposed to be. But yeah, it's just paint, ink, and coloring pencils and markers. And the hair is all ink, which was kind of insane because I think it spent like two or three days on the hair by itself. Yeah. So, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.